Hello, today I want to show you how to set up the React Native in your macOS M1. So let's start. So first of all, we should search React Native, the official website, and there is a get start to set up your environment. Press on this, and then we have like a set up the environment. Yeah, this page. So for uh, there is an option from Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. I'm going to the Mac OS. And first of all, I will be set up the Android. Then after that, uh, I will set up for the iOS. So uh, it's a uh, documentation how to install your, uh, set up your React Native and your Mac OS. So first of all, and the first you should uh, go to the Homebrew, install the Homebrew and your Mac OS. And just copy this and search the terminal and just paste this and your password so it will be take us some time to install this is for the After completing the installation of the brew, now we need to create the zsh file. So for creating the zsh file, you need to uh, type nano uh, type like this or you can type uh, touch. So in this we can cre we create the zsh file. Now we can open zsh file so we should open there is nothing so we just copy uh, our um, the brew command in there so the brew command or the brew uh, path in there is it working or not i have already another file in brew doctor yeah it's also working so we don't need to uh, like uh, it's working now we know after installation of the brew now we need to install the uh, node.js but node.js i want to install from the nvm so nvm install the nvm from the macOS. Uh, i'm using nvm so you can also use the nvm so for the installation nvm you need the nvm like uh, for installation the nvm i just open that and just paste it so nvm install then we have source we need to open our and open our now we need to open and just uh, paste this command to the your open zsh I just paste that command and save it and this uh, just close it and now just nvm version check it it's installed already now we after installation of nvm and uh, adding the this command to the zshrc so now we need to install our nodes so i need if you want to install the node in the latest version you can use this command but i want to use uh, like i want to install the uh, specific version so I'm, I'm going to the nvm install 16 so I'm, i want to install the maybe 18 version yes it will be take some time to install the uh, a node and so we already installed the node version we have 18.20 version in our and just uh, say yes, after that we should check and node version as in install just close it thus that and then again node version yeah i have node version in my system 18 version so now we should go to the our install the brew watchman in our system like this some time to install that and after that installation of the brew uh, we need to install the um, jdk for the which is a java development kit for the android so we need that so we just copy brew install jdk we need this you can also download manually also the java 
but I will download from there sometime so Uh, our watchman is completely installed in our system so now we need to install the uh, jdk for our system so just copy that command and just paste it it's need a password just type your password successfully now we need to add our um, now now we need to export our java to zsh file so just copy this and just come here to your terminal and open zsh rc and just uh, paste it your java and just uh, come here and close it then come and just uh, check is java is already installed or not so just check we already installed the java in our system and we also downloading the java and checking the java in our system now we are going to uh, download the android studio so just go and i'm not downloading the latest version of the android because there is some issues facing so i will go some down versions and sub download archives click on this and just uh, come here and just i agree to term and condition just uh, download some early version i will download the jarafa version yeah so there is maybe jarafa version yeah, it's on 23 so i will yeah this version i already download after that i'll just go to my downloads and just uh, open my uh, android studio show the folder and just download my the android i already download the android studio just install the android studio so it is installed just uh, now we need to open uh, it is installed now we need to open uh, this is my android studio just open it open it you can download open it so do not send it so it will take next no standard this dark version okay and just uh, accept it only this version some time to install these things and press on the finish button so i'm loading and installing the android studio now we need to uh, install or download the sdk or virtual device or some other things also just scroll down and they, these are like a android sdk 34 version and for the intel processor we need this or for the silicon m1 we need google api rm64 v8 image so just go to the uh, just click on the uh, android studio and more actions and just sdk and just uh, i will go to android api sdk 34 and this is 64 v8 image yeah 64 v8 image and android studio platform 34 just okay apply okay so now it will take us some time uh, after installation the sdk and google api rm64 so we just go to the finish and now okay after installation the sdk and everything so now we need to uh, create the virtual device let's create the device select your device i will go to like a 6 no 5 next and your version of the SDK, I will go 34 and just finish and it will start. So now we need have a more setup also. After installation, these things now we need to add these commands in our ZSH file. So just copy this and type open ZSH and just paste it here and save, then close it and close it. So now our Android setup is completed. So we need to uh, just uh, create our project. So for this. After adding, after adding these commands, now we need to uh, install the Visual Studio code. 
So Visual Studio Code, and from there, just download it. I already downloaded it. I just go to install that. It's my Visual Studio Code. I will be put it there. So I download it. So I want to put it in my applications. So now I will open it. This is my Visual Studio Code. So now, after installing and completing everything, now we need to uh, create a new project of the React Native. So for this, I will go to the lower version of the React Native because there is a command I could not found in the new version. So I will go to the lower version. And so there is a command to download. Yeah, this. If you want to download the latest version, you can use this command. If you want to download the specific version, you can use this command. So I will go to the latest version and just open the terminal. CD disk top and paste it so yes so it will take some two or three minutes to download everything and also for the ios uh, we also have same procedure but uh, for that we only need the xcode so i will tell you how, how, how to download that also So this is template is downloading. It's also downloading the Cocoa code also. And now just open the Visual Studio. Visual Studio, and just open my project. I'm going to a desktop and just paste it. Allow. Yes, I'm trusting. And just. Uh, npm run android so this will be do not send a message man. yeah for the first time it will be take uh, so much time so first time it will take uh, some time to uh, run your project so it's a little bit uh, tough for the first time so just wait it So our app is 100% completed and now it's uh, running our app. So that's it. That's the setup of the Android. And I will show also the how to uh, install the in iOS. That's it.